What is going on guys? My name is Dawson Redden and I'm a proud Gryffindor and welcome back to the Fantastic Reddens and where to find them. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're unboxing something that was not supposed to be here until towards the end of the week, but it just arrived on the doorstep and I'm not waiting to open it. There's just no way. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video, Accio Intro. So a little backstory on today's video, uh, me and my wife had planned a trip for me, Skylin, and her and Luke, our son, to go to New York City next year to go to the Cursed Child play and then go to the New York store. We were going to spend five days in New York. One day was going to be spent at the New York store. Another day was going to be spent at the Cursed Child play. And then the other days were going to be sightseeing and just shopping and hanging out in New York since we had never been. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we were unable to go, and so we had to return our tickets to the Cursed Child, which really stank because we had stayed up all morning the day of the uh, early release, and we spent all morning trying to get tickets, and we finally snagged really good seats, and so to have to return them and not go kind of stinks. But we are going to Universal, um, to the Wizarding World, as kind of a trade-off for not being able to go to that any longer but I was super upset because one of the reasons I really wanted to go was really not even the play it was to go see the New York store if you guys don't know New York I'm sure you know has opened up a beautiful Harry Potter store and they are selling some items that are exclusive to the New York store that you cannot get anywhere else and I was not gonna be able to get my hands on them so long story short I made a post on Facebook asking if anyone knew anyone that lived in New York or the surrounding area that may be able to go to the New York store for me and pick up a few items. Now after making this post several different times, I finally got someone to answer me, a good buddy Chris, and he tagged a relative, I believe, that lives upstate and was happening to go to downtown New York. Um, Labor Day weekend so he messaged me and he said hey I'm gonna be downtown I can run by the store and pick up some items for you so at this time this guy I have no idea who he is by the way his name is Robert Robert I know you're watching this video because you uh, came and subscribed to the channel and you said you was going to be on the lookout for it so Robert I just want to say thank you uh, you're awesome Robert has restored my faith in humanity and letting you know that you can trust people that you don't know I sent money to Robert, not knowing this man at all, in good faith that he was going to go to the store and pick these items up and ship them to me. Of course, I did pay Robert for his time. He only asked me to pay for his train ticket, so I sent some money for his train ticket, and then whatever was left over from what he bought at the store, um, I let him keep. I'm not sure exactly how much that was, but he was able to keep all of that. Robert has shipped me a box full of items from the New York store. There's not a whole lot in here, unfortunately, just because it's kind of expensive to do it this way. So I only grabbed a few things that I really know I wanted. One of the sweaters I wanted, Robert informed me they had sold out of that morning. He said they were super busy and it sold out pretty fast. So the items we have in here, one of which is a trade out item that I wasn't going to get from the store, but since I went ahead and sent the money for it, I've had him pick it up and the other two are items that I was looking for so there should be three items in this box altogether so I'm gonna open it up the packaging is a little damaged on the way here um, parts of it are completely ripped open and broken apart so hopefully everything's in good shape once I get it open fingers crossed Alrighty, here we go. Alright, so Robert sent me the two items. Okay, yeah, we have some serious damage. Which stinks. Okay, we're gonna start with this one. Um, he, I asked him to send me the bags, which he was kind enough to do. But unfortunately, the bag is, uh, is, is ripped to pieces. Uh, completely split down both sides. Now. 
I don't know. I don't think that's Robert's fault. That's probably due to uh, shipping and who knows what else. But um, nonetheless, maybe I can salvage this in some kind of way. But uh, this is the bag that you would get from the New York store. It says Harry Potter New York on one side. And on the other side, what's really neat about it is it shows the daily profit like newspaper. This one talking about the Death Eater numbers growing. Really cool um, detailing that they put on their bags. So uh, a little sad that this is destroyed, but it's okay. What we're really here for is the items within these bags. So in the first bag, I was super excited about getting this. Okay, unfortunately, this isn't the right hoodie, which is sad. But it's still an exclusive New York hoodie, and so it'll make do until I can get the one that I was wanting. The one that I had sent him actually has uh, the Wizarding World Harry Potter New York store really big on the back right here. This is one of their newer hoodies, which they may have been sold out of, I'm not sure. Um, but on this one in particular, there's nothing on the back. Now it does have the Harry Potter New York logo that that one has on the back on the chest here. And this is an exclusive to New York hoodie. And then of course the sleeve is different than that one, but I actually like the sleeve on this one. Um, it's gold and then it has all these different logos on it like the Deathly Hollow, the Golden Snitch, uh, it's got a Niffler, and then Harry's Lightning Bolt. So pretty cool down the sleeve. Uh, it just sucks that this isn't the one that I was going for, but nonetheless, it's still a nice hoodie and it's pretty neat to have either way. Down here at the bottom of the hoodie, kind of where the pockets are, you've got some pockets. It's got this logo with the Niffler the Golden Snitch, the Lightning Bolt, and the Deathly Hollow in this kind of rubber material, if you can see that. So, let's try it on and see what it looks like. All right, I think it looks really good. Um, so, you know, it, it sucks that it's not the one that I was originally going for, but it's still a nice hoodie. It's still Harry Potter New York, and it's still gonna get the job done, right? I really like the sleeves on this. So honestly, this may have ended up being better. It sucks that there's nothing on the back of it, but either way, I still like it. It's very warm, it's very high quality, um, and I think that this is $60. So yeah, so this is indeed a $60 hoodie. So if you're looking to get a hoodie from the New York store and you want the exclusive, one of the exclusive ones that you can only get there, uh, you're looking at paying about $60 for a hoodie like this. All right, moving on to the other two items. Now, like I said, uh, one of the items that I was going for, they did not have, and he actually got in touch with me uh, that day while he was in the store and he said, hey, uh, they do not have this item you're looking for. Only one I can find is this. He said he went and got with one of the employees and was trying to find out if he could find it. And the employee informed him that they actually had sold out and they no longer had it that day. Uh, like I said, this was Labor Day weekend, so they were super busy. Um, Robert, also, I just want to say that even though this hoodie is not the right hoodie, uh, it's okay. And I appreciate you doing all this. For me um, I don't want to come across as if I'm ungrateful because I'm I'm not um, it's super nice and generous of you to do this and that hoodie is just as good as the hoodie I sent you um, so no problems whatsoever so the other items that he picked up for me are some wands there are two wands in this bag and this bag is not damaged yay so we have two wands in here that I'm excited about. One is an exclusive that I'm gonna show you, and the other one is just a wand that I've been wanting for a long time, and I thought since, well, I sent him the money and they don't have the sweater that I was looking for, then this will work as well. So, let's go ahead and take a look at these wands. We will start with 
let's just go ahead and pull them both out of the bag. Ta da! All right, so two wands here. They come in these beautiful boxes with this color strip down the side. These are the new boxes. I have yet to see these in person or get my hands on them, so really cool. They look amazing. It is at the Wizarding World logo, says Harry Potter, and it says exclusive design collection right there on the front. All right, so we're gonna set this one to the side and save that one for last, and we're going to jump into this one. Like I said, this wand is a wand that I've wanted for a very long time, and I'm excited to see it in person. So we're gonna take the top off. This, guys, is the Thestral wand. I'm a huge fan of Thestrals. If you follow this channel, you know that my favorite magical creature is a Thestral. I absolutely love them. I think that they are stunning and they're just a misunderstood creature. So this says the Thestral. It comes with a card and I will put that there so you can pause the video and read that if you want to. This gives you some information about the Thestral. So we'll set that to the side. So let's take a look at two of the other cases real fast that you can get wands in uh, there may be another one i believe that you can buy a wand separately like in a just a regular package at, a, at the store that doesn't come with any type of box whatsoever and that's going to save you a little bit of money um, but you can get wands in a box like this this came from universal studios this is the interactive wand boxes and you can you open them up here and they just have a section for the wand to lay in. It's nothing too fancy. That's pretty much it. And then it comes with a map that I don't have in here because I have it framed of the park and all the different places that you can go and you can use your interactive wand. The other boxes, and these are the super nice boxes, come like this. They have this logo on the end here. And then they have this very nice fabric like you would see in the movie with this felt line inside, super nice. And your wand just lays inside with this over the top of it. And then you just open it up like you would in the movie and your wand lays inside. So these are the more expensive um, style box that you can receive your wand in, which I really like these because then you can display them in the box like this or you can display these boxes and I really like it but back to this box this box is still super pretty but instead of a cloth material they use a paper material so this is like a purple um, piece of paper and it just flips back and reveals your wand you're getting a first look I haven't even seen this yet all right let's take a look at it Oh my goodness. There it is, the Thestral Wand. Wow. This is so beautiful. This blows all my expectations. The detail in this is insane. So I've seen photos and videos of this, but I have never got to see this in person, hold it in my hand, and wow. This might be, actually it is. This is my favorite wand in my collection so far. Holy cow. Look at this wand. So at the top here, you have the Thestral, and he's kind of just shooting up out of the wood, and his wings wrap around the wand. It looks like he's holding on to it. He just looks so good. Wow. Yeah, without a doubt, right now, this is my favorite wand in my collection. This is fantastic. All the little details and the bone and all the little craters in his face and his little 
big. He just looks so, so good. Wow. Holy cow. All right. Let me stop gushing about this wand and let's move on to the last wand from this haul from New York. And it's not really a haul because it's only three items, but the three items that I was able to get my hands on uh, without it being too difficult. Wow. All right, moving on to the last wand. Look how much bigger this wand is compared to the Destro wand. Pretty decent upgrade in size, okay? So this one here is exclusive. You cannot get this online. You have to go to the New York store to pick this up. It is going to be absolutely stunning. I've seen so many videos and photos of this wand. The packaging has the same packaging as the Thestral wand, Harry Potter exclusive design collection. And it has that purple strip down the side as well. Now, some of the other ones have a different colored strip, but these two just happen to have the purple ones. So let's jump into this wand. If you follow Harry Potter New York store or anything Harry Potter, then you know what wand this is since it's exclusive to the New York store. This is the Golden Snitch Wand. So, comes with a card just like the Thestra Wand, except for it has the Golden Snitch. And then I will let you pause that and read about it if you would like. So, let's jump into this wand. Super excited about it. It's got that same purple paper over the top of it. I'm gonna give you guys first look here. So, here we go. Oh my goodness, I can see it in the video. Is it awesome? Oh yes, okay. Woo! I cannot believe we have this in the collection. Holy cow. This is phenomenal looking. Wow. Holy cow. This is a big wand, very long very awesome looking wand. I can't believe that we finally have this. I didn't think that we were ever going to get this in the collection just because I didn't think we was ever going to end up making it to New York with everything going on. So Robert, once again, thank you. This is awesome and you did me a huge, huge favor. So let's take an in-depth look into this wand. So this wand has the iconic golden snitch. The end here is kind of the ball of the golden snitch and then his wings fold back and come down the side of the wand on both sides. And it is in this pretty gold. Then the rest of the wand is done in black and it has this kind of swirl effect. Almost like the golden snitch is flying and this is kind of like the wisp coming off the back and it's all swirling and coming off of the snitch. Very neat design. Humongous wand and absolutely beautiful. Holy cow. It's got a little bit of a curvature to it. Does it feel good in the hands? Um, you know, not really. And the reason is, is because these edges are very kind of sharp and so it doesn't feel the greatest. Now, if you're just holding on to it, it's not too bad, but if you were to get like a big squeeze on it, like you're really getting ready to do something uh, with this wand, which you're not going to do, then it really isn't too terrible, but there is some discomfort in holding this wand compared to some of the other wands that you can purchase. But this right here is just going to set on a shelf in this house and really will never be messed with because I would not want to damage it or mess it up in any way. Wow, this is phenomenal and an absolutely beautiful wand. Robert, thank you, for real. This is awesome. So guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Just to recap on what we got, we got the exclusive hoodie from the New York store. Even though this is not the exact hoodie that I was looking at getting, this is still a fantastic hoodie and exclusive only to the New York store. Very nice quality. It has the Harry Potter logo, New York underneath, 
with the Wizarding World logo above that and then these amazing sleeves with all this down the sides. So still a fantastic hoodie. And then we got the Thestral wand, which is now probably my favorite wand in my collection. And we got the exclusive Golden Snitch wand that you can only get at the Harry Potter New York store. Super beautiful wand. So glad that I was able to finally get my hands on this. It's just stunning. Not a humongous haul, but to get someone out of state to purchase this for me, for one, was amazing. Two, him not knowing me and going and doing this for me. And then three, it costing me $220 uh, for shipping, purchasing, and then fees to give him for doing this. This is what I was able to grab. Like I said, Robert, once again, thank you. I appreciate it very much. This is fantastic and I'm so excited and I can't thank you enough for picking this up for me. You are absolutely amazing and you have restored um, a lot of my faith in humanity. So <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, the bag being damaged and this being the wrong hoodie, I do not blame you for and it just happens, man. Uh, packaging, got damaged in shipping, I would assume, and then this was just, you know, an easy mistake. I'm sure they have several exclusive hoodies, so no big deal there. Thank you for sending this out. I do have the wand bag that is still in great condition, which I plan on keeping, and yeah. So that's going to wrap up this video. Guys, let Robert know down in the comments how awesome he is for going on his own time to the New York store and spending time waiting to get in and getting in and purchasing these items for me. He did not have to do that, especially not even knowing me, and he went out of his way to do so. So let him know how awesome he is down in the comments. Guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are not subscribed, get subscribed, and if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified of any future videos Skyline and I post here on the channel. Tons of content on the way. Stuff just keeps rolling in the mail, and we keep putting it out for you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Again, thank you for all the love and support, and we will see you again very soon. Until next time, Knox. Doesn't quite understand me. Know what I mean?